So I created a channel point redeem for my Twitch stream that lets Twitch chat call in stratagems for the stream while I'm playing Helldivers 2. Okay, HQ, I appreciate this comm link stratagem, but I think Comcast is the provider and the connection is really shitty. They can use channel points to input arrows like this. And it'll trigger a funny effect. Hey, I'm here with your delivery. 20 pieces of nuggets and a bug milkshake. Five stars, please. Yeah, like this little guy right here. And it can trigger a bunch of different filters depending on the stratagem that they pick. Anyway, I wanted to do a quick breakdown on how it all came together. Hey, so this is the first time I'm doing an effects breakdown video like this. If you want to see more, subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and I'm down to break down more of my effects in the future. And also follow my Twitch stream, where I code a lot of these effects live and we get to test them with the chat in real time. Okay, thanks. Uh, the software that I used to put it together is called Sammy. It is similar to something like StreamerBot or MixItUp. It lets you connect to the Twitch API and get all the channel point or chat or sub and bits events and hook it up to OBS so you can like turn on and off filters, trigger funny effects, switch scenes, etc. And you can do this with like normal code, but this kind of streamlines it by taking care of all the authentication for you and uh, giving you like really quick commands that you can just use a drop down and like pick out of a list. And it's really helpful for that. And it's really helpful for when you want to put something quick together. And so the paradigm of Sammy is that it has decks and buttons, kind of similar to a stream deck. So this is my deck for my Helldivers 2 stream. It's not very clean, I'm sorry. And everything, all these buttons at the bottom here, you can trigger by pushing them or by kind of creating a trigger from the Twitch API. So this is this basically says anytime someone uses the channel point up, like right here, this channel point up, it will trigger this button. And it's really convenient to just add a bunch of different triggers through Sammy. How this all flows together and I kind of drew a really scuffed diagram on how this all flows together. And so when someone activates one of these channel points, let's say up, right? Let's use, let's use the channel point up. And the arrow shows up on the screen. What is happening? This button sends a message to this button, which handles, which handles filling up the row of arrows above. And this is a lot of code, so I'm going to walk through it visually. Okay, so the button, let's say this is the channel point button, it sends an up message. So it goes into that big button, which is gonna handle uh, setting this row of arrows above. So what it does is it grabs all these slots here and it says, okay, for all these slots, check which one, check each one and see if they're empty. So if the first one is empty, put it in, which is exactly what it did there. But let's do another channel point redeem. Uh, let's say, uh, let's go right. So then we're saying, let's go right. It check, it goes to this button, which handles everything. And it's like, okay, the first one's already filled out. We're going to go right. Okay. And in this code, you can kind of see me doing that. This is me grabbing all the slots, checking if they're empty. And then it basically is this crazy if statement that says like, okay, if this is, if this is not empty, and check if this is empty, and this is not empty, and then check if this is empty. And then if this is empty, fill it in. So it keeps doing that. Um, and I'm just gonna make up a code here. Let's say up, right, right, right. And before I put the last arrow in, I'm gonna show you kind of what it does. So at the very last arrow here, it triggers these buttons to uh, check if it's a valid combination, which is in this button right here. So it checks if the series of arrows is say, like this is down, 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 down. I named it bottom. I should have named it down. Don't be like me, name things properly. Uh, here it's like left, left, right, right, right. Here's up, up, left, left, right. Um, and if it is a valid sequence, then it will trigger an effect up here. But if it is, if it is an invalid sequence, it will give an error message and then restart the whole sequence. It's not really an error, it just tells you know, it just tells the chat, hey, you didn't put in the right sequence. So let me put in the wrong sequence and show you what happens. So there's a cool little error effect and then it restarts and then I can do the same thing again. 
So in this button, what it basically says is, hey, if none of these sequences are true, then all these buttons down, then just skip to this part down here and, you know, and show that the, and show the chat that they did something wrong. If you did something correct though, uh, we're gonna activate an effect and just jump out of this button. So all my effects are down here. Uh, whoa, well, here we go. So all my effects are down here. I'm not gonna go through each one. Uh, I'm gonna do the DoorDash one again, which brings up a text-to-speech hell diver who uh, pretends that he's delivering me uh, some good food. This is Bug Dash here with your delivery. Did somebody order some KEFFB? Kentucky Fried Bug? 11 legally distinct herbs and spices. Let's see. So this is the code to do the entire effect. It calls down a pod module. Um, and then it kind of randomly selects each dialogue. And then at, once it's done, uh, the Helldiver dies to a bug. So uh, once this is all done, I have additional buttons to basically restart the whole sequence. So what that means is a all these slots are cleared up. And then the whole thing starts over again. Oh, I forgot one important thing. So how do I actually show the arrows on the screen? Um, so in this scene, uh, I only have actually only five arrow files, right? But the arrows can point in all different directions. I actually use filters to rotate them. I can activate any of these filters to rotate them in any direction I want. So by using filters, I don't have to use like 20 different arrow files. So as you can see, there's a lot involved here, but uh, I'm super proud of this. The chat really loves it. And it's a really fun way to make the Helldiver streams a bit more engaging. This is my first time doing a breakdown of an effect like this. And if you really want to see more, uh, hit the subscribe button and I'm super down to go over more of my effects. And be sure to check out my Twitch stream where we code and test these effects live and it's a ton of fun. All right, thanks for checking it out. I'll see you in the stream.